land. Did the earth move for you? We report on the small earthquake that shook Lancashire and the lakes last night. Now, homes in the northwest of England were rattled by an earthquake last night. The tremor, measuring 3.3, was recorded off the Lancashire coast at around half past 11. And it was felt more than 15 miles away. Eunice Muller is in the village of Silverdale and can tell us more. Sophie, this is a small village surrounded by amazing scenery and great for walks, but I'm told not much happens here apart from that and apart from late last night when a number of people said they were woken up by what they felt was an explosion or vibration coming from underground. Others thought that perhaps a, a lorry or a large a vehicle had gone inside the building. And what a number of people have told me is that they could feel themselves swaying um, and uh, also their houses shaking. What happened was in fact there had been a large uh, ex what they well what happened was in fact was an earthquake um, across felt across Lancashire and also the South Lakes the epicenter was in fact not far off the coast here at a depth of around three kilometers with a magnitude of 3.3 now that's the depth was around 1.86 miles. The British Geological Survey say it's difficult to know exactly what happened here and to pinpoint what happened because of the depth of the uh, earthquake itself. But they say this is quite ordinary. Um, around 200 to 300 earthquakes are felt across the UK every year and only a tenth though are felt by people. What it's certainly done though has had a lot of people here today talking and has been a topic of conversation. Hey, Eunice, thank you very much. Now, residents in Lancashire and Cumbria have described being shaken and not a little stirred after an earthquake shook homes in the north of England. The 3.3 magnitude quake struck around 11.23 p.m. last night with the British Geological Survey saying its epicentre was just off the coast of the picturesque village of Silverdale in Lancashire. But tremors were felt across the county and also in the Southern Lake District, including the towns of Kendall and Ulverston. Our North of England reporter Jonathan Brown is at Silverdale tonight. And I'm guessing, Jonathan, there's a lot of earthquake talk around your way tonight. Absolutely. It's been a very unusual 24 hours for people living in this quaint little village by the sea. People here have told us that it's a bit of a hidden gem just a few miles from the Lake District. But that was all before this area quite literally became the epicentre of attention overnight. Everybody here seems to have a story about the incident which happened last night, which I'm assured felt much more dramatic in person than appears on the videos. Stand by for the Great Earthquake of West Lancashire. If you missed it, here it is again. As the fear and confusion set in. Yes, that was indeed the albeit brief moment that the earth moved beneath Silverdale. It measured 3.3 in magnitude, not enough to do serious damage, unless spillages count. I have a glass of water by the bed and of course it's blasted out. It was that, it was that bang that it blasted out the back. So I actually dialed 999. Definitely a nice rumble. Yeah, definitely a nice one, but... A little bit underwhelming, maybe. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> My cat was scared, but that was about it. Is your cat OK? Yes, he is OK. He's recovered. Experts say this all happened because of the movement of tectonic plates deep underground, but the internet's been awash with some alternative theories. One person wrote it sounded like someone had chucked a freezer down the stairs. Another said, I thought my grandson had fallen out of bed, while one more wrote that they thought it was a massive firework. A lot of people will report hearing it more than they, they feel it. The size they would expect to see some kind of damage, uh, it'd probably be about 10 times bigger than this one. One unexpected symptom of the shaking, a craving for coffee and cakes. We might get some visitors, seismologists. <laughs> it's been nice to see all the friendly faces around the village and to come together and you know be reassured together, really. Reports suggest the tremor was felt as far as 12 miles away, though villagers here hope this rude awakening remains an unlikely one-off. Jonathan Brown, ITV News, Silverdale.